What's up and welcome to another episode of the vlog. I, I just am so thankful, I'm so glad that you're here with me and you're following along. I've talked to a few people in the last couple of weeks that uh, say they've watched every single episode and that's super cool, it encourages me and um, I'm not sure why people watch this because it's not really great. I wish my life was more uh, interesting to film and to create these things but quite honestly I just enjoy the editing process and that's why I'm doing it so it is time for the Friday five it is also time for coffee I really enjoy drinking coffee which means that sometimes you have to make coffee and so as part of the Friday five I want to talk about some things that I like about coffee and here is a pro tip and uh, this is probably one of the things that I see most people do completely wrong about coffee it doesn't matter if you have the most expensive best beans in the world if you don't store them properly. And people make this mistake all the time and it's frustrating to me. Oh, little guy, this is the Fries, F-R-I-I-S. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's the brand. This is called the Coffee Locker. It's $18 on Amazon and what it is is it's an airtight container that seals in your beans. So if you have, it, like if you pay just a ridiculous amount for your beans, but you don't store them properly. The minute you grind them and the minute they hit the air, they start to degrade. And so you can't actually have a decent cup of coffee at home. It's so wonderful to be able to curl up on your couch with a homemade cup of coffee, something that you made. And no matter how you like to prepare it, if you have bad beans, you're never gonna get a great cup of coffee. So number one in the Friday Five is store your beans properly. $18 Amazon, the coffee locker. That's an awesome thing to do. We have this other one, which is made by my favorite company, Death Wish. Same thing, you just get one of these. It's an airtight, like you actually have to pop the lid and then what happens is it's got this little thing in here so it's got a, a lid and you actually maybe you can even hear this airtight bang perfect beans you can grind enough beans for like four or five days and then you stick them in a uh, you stick them in a locker or something that's gonna store them properly keep your beans okay rant over sorry about that it's just frustrating that people don't store their beans properly and then they want to talk about how to prepare it and people get all caught up over what's the best way to prepare it and all that stuff well it doesn't matter if you have bad beans that's number one things that i like number two things that i don't like but need to do number two i hate running i dislike it i'm not good at it my body was not made to run long distances, but I have a new goal for 2017. I'm turning 37 in just a few weeks, and I think it's important as I get older and age that I continue to keep my body in better shape, and uh, that's an important thing. And so I have a new goal for 2017, and that is, there's 365 days in a year, I want to run 365 miles in my 37th year on this planet, the year 2017. That's not gonna be easy because I really don't like to run very much, but I already started. Here is a quick, I don't know. I also crashed my drone. Stupid active track in DJI. Here it is, look for yourself. Just got done with the run, only went like 
just barely over a mile, 1.29 miles in 13 minutes, simply because I took too long messing with my drone. And I'd also like to point out right now, with the drone, I had it in active track. So here is a DJI Mavic Pro review on something that is absolutely terrible. So what happened was I had it in active track, I set it all up, it was tracking me just fine around one side of the track as I was running as you see. It it just turned itself, it turned off the obstacle avoidance all by itself. It said something about redundancy, obstacle avoidance off, and then it just flew itself into a tree. Are you kidding me DJI? It flew itself into a tree in active track by turning off the sensors. What is up with that? That's not okay. That's not okay at all. But nonetheless, it's cold. It's literally 28 degrees out today. 1.29 miles of 365 is down. That's the big story here. My blades are broken. All the props are broken on my Mavic. So now I can't fly until I order new props, new blades. <sighs> on with the day. Here we go. Number three. Third thing in the Friday Five that uh, I wanted to talk about is this. I read a statistic as I was doing some research for a message that I was preparing for youth group on New Year's resolutions that 80% of Americans who make a New Year's resolution do not follow it through within two weeks. By the end of two weeks, they're not even doing whatever they said that they would do. And uh, I think that's ridiculous. Um, here's the deal. Be a person who does what you say you'll do. There is nothing worse than having a person tell you that they'll do something or committing to something and then backing out or just not doing it all. This is a biblical concept. Like the Bible says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Like be a person that actually has the stick to itiveness. If you're going to say you're going to do something, just do it. It's so frustrating. Like it's disappointing. It's frustrating. It's upsetting. Like there's a million different adjectives that you could use to talk about what it is when people say they're going to do something and then not do it. Don't be that person. That is just like, don't be that person. It's no fun. It's, it's no, no good. Don't be that person. Don't be one of the 80%. So if you know 10 people that have made a new year's resolution, literally statistically, if they're Americans, eight of them in two weeks, literally by the end of next week, they won't even be attempting to try to do their new year's resolution. And you know, I know everybody has an excuse and everybody has a reason for why they can't do it, but just just don't be that person. Be like the Bible says. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. If you're not going to do something, just be honest and say, hey, I'm not going to do that. If you are going to do something, then say, hey, I'm going to do it and then follow through. Do it. Okay. Rant over. That's enough of that. Number four, a book that I'm reading. Something that I have found super interesting uh, recently is a book by Tim Ferriss. It's called The Tools of the Titans. Tim Ferriss, he's got a great podcast and you can subscribe to his newsletter, which I do. And uh, he, what he does is he basically life hacks everything. And so he interviews like the most successful people in a ton of different fields, sports and business and, and creatives and like all of these different things. He interviews them, he figures out what their systems are, what, they're, what makes them successful, why they're succeeding the way that they are. And then he tries to implement those things in his own life and then he lives by those rules to see if he can recreate the same kind of success. It's a really cool social experiment that he's on and a journey in his life that's pretty awesome. So I've enjoyed following him. He wrote this book, Tools of the Titans, and it's basically a compilation of all of the interviews and all of the people that he has found interesting or that he has found success implementing their tools. And then they cross-references the different successes of people uh, so that you can have like this super list of like ultra proven things to continue to help you be successful in your given area. Anyways, it's a great book. You get it on Amazon. I don't know, it was less than 20 bucks. Download it on your Kindle. I read it on my iPad. I like the digital version because I can highlight things and keep it in quotes and uh, super awesome. But that's the book that I'm reading right now for this month. It'll probably take me a little while because this is so jam packed with stuff. And it's kind of cool the way that it's written. Like you don't have to read it chapter by chapter. Like you can literally go, oh, I'm interested in this subject. I'm interested in nutrition. So I'll see how people do nutrition or I'm interested in weight training. So I'll see how people do that. And so you have like all of these different things. So you don't have to read it chapter by chapter. You can kind of pick and choose what you want to read out of it. That's how the book was written. And uh, Tim Ferriss, 
Two thumbs up, great book, my friend. Quote number five, number five, fifth thing, quote of the week. This is from a, a fellow YouTuber, his name is Levi Allen. He has a production company called Less Left Coast Productions. He's out of Canada, awesome guy, love watching his vlogs, love watching his videos, he's amazingly talented, but he makes this quote, it's kind of the, the byline of his whole company, but it's really interesting. It has my attention and my thought process as I'm continuing to go through YouTube, but he said, life is better when you make something. Life is better when you make something. And I tend to agree with him. Uh, there's a lot of people just consuming things and not creating anything, not making anything to give. And I don't want to be a person that just consumes and just takes and just, uh, you know, hold, holds everything in. But I want to be able to create something, put it out there. Hopefully it encourages some people. Hopefully it challenges some people. Hopefully we can go on a journey and be better because of something that I created, something that I made, simply like giving a pro coffee tip do it. You'll thank me later. That's it for the vlog. Thanks, you guys. We'll have another episode in another couple of days. Hope you're having a splendid day. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you soon.